So today I'm going to show you how to do a nested pie chart or a pie chart overlay. And this is when you have two pie charts that you put together. That way you can see multiple dimensions at the same time. And so in this case, we have three categories with subcategories. And this allows us to see how those categories and subcategories break down. And so just to show how this looks if you change the numbers we change that so now the hardware takes up a larger chunk here but then it also shrinks those down as a percentage of the whole all right so let's go ahead and get started so first of all let me show you the setup i have here which is a category and then next to it is a sub or secondary category and then we have our values here and so if you notice in the subcategory, I have the same categories for each main category. And so what I did to differentiate them as we start building this chart is I just added that first initial to the end of each of these. And so if your subcategories are different for each one, that won't matter, but just keep that in mind. If you have the same category names, this will be helpful to differentiate. So let's go ahead and jump right in. So I'm just going to select all the data here and then insert chart here or you can go insert chart from the menu. And then let's go ahead and change this into a pie chart. And then what we're gonna have to do is, right now it's reading the subcategory's value, we need to change that to amount. And then second thing is, this category right now is each individual subcategory still. And so let's go ahead and do aggregate, and now it's combining all the school, all the business, and all the government. So if you want to change the colors, you can do that either by changing the theme here or you can go customize. And then under the slice, you can change these colors. We're just going to stick with the default just to simplify things for now. So let's make this a little smaller so we can use it as the center. And then one more thing I'm going to do is put these labels in as the pie chart. So under the pie chart, we're going to do the slice labels as the label. And then for the legend, we want to do none, just like that. All right, so that should be good for the first level. And then we want to create a, another pie chart. And change this to pie chart. This one we're gonna put as a donut. And then again, we'll have to do the same thing here. This time we do not want to aggregate, but we actually want to change this from category to subcategory. And so now it's probably making a little more sense what's happening with the S and the B and the G and so forth. So one thing you'll note is if we drag this over, you can even see the back one. And so what we need is customize and background color to none. And now if we drag it over, now you can see that one. So this one still has a border. Let's go ahead and get rid of that for now. Just like that, just to make this a little more streamlined. And then this doesn't quite fit. So what we're gonna have to do is resize these to mesh. So now we got them overlaid, but one thing is our colors do not match. And so in our outer chart, we just need to update our colors. So we'll double click on this and let me just get rid of this border color real quick. Just make that a little cleaner. All right. And then we're going to go to customize and we're going to pie slice. And then we're going to go through and update our colors. So under business, we have blue. And so we can pick different colors of blue here. So we could do maybe a darker one, maybe a light one, and maybe somewhere in between. That looks decent. And then we go down to government. And there we go. As you can probably tell already, there's many different ways you could set this up or modify this and modify the colors and the look. But I just want to show you the basics of setting this up, just in case you guys were wondering how you could do this and how you can make these overlays work. Thanks for watching. Make sure to check out my other videos on both Google Sheets and AppScript. And as always, have a great day.